Education has been a game changer in my life. Um, my family's from Mississippi, deep south, and my grandmother was only able to make it to the ninth grade before she became a mother um, to my mother. And um, after becoming a mother, she definitely had bigger dreams for my mom to graduate from high school. And my mom did graduate from high school, and then my mom was like, I want my children to graduate and go further um, and graduate from college. And so when I became a mom, it was just a natural thing that I would want my daughter to continue along that legacy. And that was sort of when this reality around the haves and have nots, the flatlands and the hills, and like white and privileged and like everyone else um, became really stark as we were going through that like open enrollment process and researching and looking at schools and going through the really painful and scary process of like doing everything what I thought was right and still getting my neighborhood school option, although it was a school slated to close, more likely within the next, within two years of her starting her K through 12 education. And it definitely felt like that access piece of, and those dreams that had been growing through my family were being compromised through, through the situation. And so my daughter did, was pulled in a lottery for a charter school and was able to, to stay at that school through K through eighth grade. But again, it just really awoken a fire in me that was already there around just with education, you can do anything. My whole career and then this work around um, the open reach has been really focused on just making sure that like parents that are like my grandmother, that are like my mother, or even like me, have like come together and like really fight and demand for better for our kids and for better access. Um, our zip code, our street name should not like dictate whether or not our kids get a really good education. I knew a few parents and so, and, and, and it's like, there's, there's one thing to be able to connect with folks, but there's another thing for them to like believe that the thing that you are wanting to do is like real and legit. And like, should they take time out of their already crazy busy lives to like ride with this notion, right? When you think specifically around like principles, I think the interesting component to that is sort of like, it, it was also an opportunity for them. And I think it was like, I presented it to them as a way of saying, you know, these folks are already advocates and pushing in your schools. This is a way for them to learn how to be system-wide advocates, one, which means that they're going to be elevating that to a whole nother level to change the system. I think it also changed the relationship with them a little bit around like, there's a respect there and I want to like give you access to take that troublemaker behavior and like take it to the next level and really shake this system up.